Hello, hello, hello. This is the Electric Metropolis. I'm Ad Springer, also known as Corbinian, and we are going to be playing Cultist Simulator: Bring the Dawn. Hello. Yes, I have lighting now. No, I had lighting before. Just didn't want to use it last time. But yes, uh, trying this out. A uh, good friend of the channel, uh, Bishop Girl. Uh, that have been playing this suggested uh, that it be something I would be into given my interest in the game uh, Sunless Sea and I was like you know what it does sound like something I'd like so eventually like all things I eventually got around to it so here we are oh my camera camera 10 camera 10 I love you baby but no hold on now my camera's all out of way. Let me fix that for you. Let me fix that for you. It looks weird. I wanted to fix it. I fixed it before, but I didn't. So I'm going to now. But yes, we've been playing this. Haven't touched this before. Uh, know very little about it. Mainly blind. Because... Woo. There we go. Not that close. There we go. There we go. There, now you're not seeing everything in my room. You don't need to see all that. It's not important. It's not important. Wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't worry your pretty little head. So, what do I know about this game? I know that it's card-based. It's a little abstract. I know it has a uh, Cthulhu Lovecraftian-esque theme to it. I know it's a simulator. <laughs> And yeah, let's check this out. <sighs> love the mu and love the music as always. Another grand uh, marker of a game I'm willing to play. Aspirant, alone in the chilly city with my useless education and my dreams. What now? Could I become something more? Click the name. Sure. Name ourselves. Hey. Corbinian. Menial employment. A precarious position as a hospital porter. Miserable, but it's all you can find just now. Aspect job. An arrangement to exchange one's life for money. I mean... Turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ugh. Wait. Okay to do it. A bit more? There we go, a little softer. Earn a living or practice the invisible arts. Another shift at the hospital. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering posts to hollow-eyed invalids, trundling corpse-laden gurneys to the basement. Sounds like fun. Start. Okay. The game doesn't isn't going out of its way to tell me what the heck's going on. Just kind of go for it. Halfway through your shift, the head porter be beckons you aside. We won't require your services any longer, he says. Here, your last payment. We paid you through the end of the month. I have lost my job. At least now I have little time to rest and my health improves. Dream is unlocked. Like all? So I have my health. This is my body. There are other bodies, but this one is mine. In my mind, hmm? time passes. Need funds to live. Perhaps this reason upset my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? There's change in the air. Recall my dreams. It began when I spoke to the old man in the hospital. He knew my name, but he's dead now. The pneumonia. Why do I dream of him still? What is the cobalt light in my dreams? Rest. Reconsider your priorities or risk yourself in exploration of the kingdoms of sleep. Contentment. I'm happy, I think. Passion. Oops. 
Dull minds are never either intuitive or mathematical. Blaise Pascal. With enough glimmering, you can study to earn more passion. I used to paint. I could paint those sites I half remember from my dreams. I might sell something, I probably won't. Let's work on my painting, I guess. Don't think too much about these options. We don't have infinite time, and I could pause, but space. I just saw that. Fuel, ointment, pigment, patients, all are consumed in time. Aspect Moth. I knew a man who captured moths in a bell jar. On nights like this, he would release them one by one to die in the candle. Moth is the wild and perilous principle of chaos and yearning. Aspect Ability. Brain or heart or hand or eye, most of us are born with most of them. Funds. Enough to support me for a little while while in adequate comfort. I also have some ingredients. Okay. So we'll paint a bit. Embrace our passion. Suppose our dream. We have a bit of health, a bit of rest, a bit of whatever that is, and a bit of funds. Pause for a second. I finished a painting, to the excitement of absolutely no one. No one but me. Sometimes painting will give you glimmerings. Study them to unlock more advanced painting options. Glimmering. My emotions run higher than usual. There are things I'll never understand, and those things will always be precious. But just now, I am closer to them. Glimmering can be used with study to gain passion. It lasts only three minutes, if unused. Passion exhausted. My passions burn low. Can't be used, but it'll take 60 seconds to come back. Okay. Request arrives. The old man has bequeathed me a sum of money. And a packet of peculiar papers. Poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in months, here is some fuel for my reason. Study is unlocked. So we have reason. No live organism can continue for long to exist sanely under conditions of absolute reality. Shirley Jackson. With erudition, you can use study to gain more reason. Okay. Quest. Package of peculiar papers from a correspondence executor. I must study it using either passion or reason. Um. Set the clock a bit. Stop. This is dream. Oh, this is study. Whoops. So, let's study this with our sense of reason. Examine the bequest employing reason. I'll examine each item with meticulous care. So we look over the package, seeing what lies within. Hoping we learn more about ourselves and the world around us. I should have put that phone somewhere where I'll see it easier. In case I get an alert. Because over there I kind of forget it's there. Okay. Meticulous. So meticulous. Articulation. Pause. My correspondent describes my dreams exactly. They use names that are instantly familiar. The house. The wood. The hours, the glory. They know secrets beneath me, mine, time, and the skin of the world. A new curiosity burns in me. There is a note here. Directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. So what did I get? Time passes. Time, the sundial's shadow passes. I must have funds to live or I will become ill. So that clock's running. Notes on a possible collaborator. A correspondent has recorded his observations of me. He believed I had potential. He recorded his observations of someone else, too. With time and study, perhaps I can find this person. Okay. Temptation and enlightenment. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to wisdom. 
This car will allow you to win an enlightened victory if you upgrade it far enough. Dreaming about it, dreaming about it might advance or change it. A watchman's secret. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. So in darkness there is no light, ergo there is no hour, therefore no time. Directions to Moorlands. Cryptic directions to obscure address of a certain Moorland, a dealer in the rarer sort of book. Let us dream a funny dream. Let's be tempted by enlightenment. Meditate my goal of unearthly knowledge. Should I dedicate myself to my purpose or focus my efforts elsewhere? And can we study at the same time, perhaps? Books are memory which does not die. True. Oh. Let's study these directions as well. What can I do with both? Hold on. So I'm seeking, I'm meditating on my unearthly knowledge. Meanwhile, I'm trying to find Moreland's shop. Directions to Moreland's shop are cryptic. One deals in the kind of books my correspondent studied one must be circumspect okay uh, okay we have two timers ticking away uh it looks like we'll be losing some funding here before my inspiration comes but i should find directions to where i need to go before too long at least my passion is going to come back to me. There it is. Pause. Whoops. Set. Explore. Now that I've found location, I can explore it. Explore the city with health or followers. Explore locations or investigate the possibilities of lore. Exploration is often unpredictable. An occult scrap. Secret histories are layered beneath the one we know, like the notes and rare wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. Explore with this scrap of knowledge may uncover secret locations in the capital. Well, why not? Seek out secret places in the city. There are places in the city where I can find extraordinary things, if I can sift through the clues in history and rumor. Not running. Find Moreland's shop. An ill-lit street of an ill-favored bend in a lesser river. A soft yellow light through a grimy window. Miss Moreland nods as I enter, but doesn't rise. I never ask the names of my clients, she informs me, before I have time to introduce myself. So we found Moreland's shop. The dim premises of Miss Moreland, whose deals, who deals in rare and sometimes dangerous books. Let's work on our passion, our reason, our glimmering. Ooh, glimmering can be meditated on. Study the glimmering. Hint, increase my passion. I'll need more than one. Can't put that there. The garden must have at least one of these aspects, a buzzing in the brain or glimmering. So I can't do that right now. Let's follow my passion. Get paint some more. Yearning. If I'm restless, perhaps this is what I want. And this has a reflection. Let's reflect on light's dedication. I'll dedicate myself to the pursuit of knowledge. Oh, certain things glow if they're relevant. Okay. I 
something. Oop, oh, some things to study. Wait, what? Click. Let's study potential collaborator. I have a name, a description, a few tantalizing detail, but there are a thousand, thousand faces in the city. Okay. Well, let us find out about this collaborator when we do all these other things at once. Nothing here glows, so nothing else can go there. Okay. Get the clocks rolling. Come to me first. Stop. I have spoken the words. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. We'll go where there is light. Though it it bleach me to glass. Oh, I have terror. I have advanced a step towards a terrible ascension. Dedication, enlightenment. I've dedicated myself to the pursuit of higher understanding. I must see beneath the skin, whatever the cost. This makes an enlightened victory possible. I must be a true initiate of the Mansus. I'll need to work with Lantern Aspect to allow the Watchman to see me. Anything else to dream of? Dream of funds. Purchase a tincture of opium? In times of a special crisis, I might visit a discreet pharmacist to purchase a tincture of opium and make my dreams sweet. But only in the times of a special crisis. This is an expensive or risky way to gain contentment. It might provide sickness or despair. I'm good, thanks. How about Dream of Reason, The Wandering Mind? There was once a man who said that sleep of reason produced monsters. Often it is healthy to let the mind wander in sleep. But if I keep dreaming, sooner or later some sort of monster will rise from my own fears. Uh, I don't feel particularly inclined to do that. If I dream... I've gone as far as I can in dream. I must perform the work. Okay. Health. An early night. With luck, I'll wake refreshed. Sometimes this will provide contentment. Often it will do nothing. Occasionally it will create dread or fascination. Let's worry about our health a little bit. Let's dream for our own health's sake. We have nothing to yearn for at the moment. Find a potential collaborator. And now I have an address. I'll dispatch a letter and propose a meeting. Talk is unlocked. Much to study. If I have two lore fragments of the same level and aspect, I can study them together to improve my understanding. Or I can use another type of lore to subvert it. I have nothing I can do there. Study glimmering. Nope. Study reason. Read whatever is to hand. The world is awash with printed words. Even the newspapers contain knowledge sometimes. Sure. Talk. I await an answer to a letter. Okay. I think we're good. All is well and all manner of things shall be well. One hopes anyway. Alright, so all things tick away. I think I'm doing well, considering I'm making sure every I'm not wasting time. I'm busy, busy in various fields and various pursuits. Thing I probably should do more often in real life, but hey. Pause for a second. Seek out the secret places of the city. This place merits closer investigation. Strakon's residence, the house of Mr. Sarcon, a collector of rare objects. Sarcon will not sell his treasures, but a sufficiently cunning accomplice may gain entry. Let's go to Miss Moreland. Let's explore Moreland's shop. At the cost of, it is empty space, which must. It is empty space, which makes the bowl useful. Lao Tzu. Add to your library. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. 
If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Sure. Paint. I've finished a painting. To the excitement of absolutely no one. No one but me. Sometimes painting will gain you glimmerings. Study them to unlock more advanced painting options. Ah, yes. Let's do the work. I need a no and a power. I have no no, but I do have a power. Require a token of the merciless light, Mansus. Hmm. We'll leave that in that slot for now. Oh, I can't. Okay. And the reply to your letter is courteous if cautious they are intrigued by how you found their name intrigued enough to meet you renra an acquaintance renra renira sorry has been found not guilty three times in three separate jurisdictions she will likely never be found guilty of anything you might be able to recruit this acquaintance as a follower new beginning together we might be more here is someone I might work with, a companion or a follower. But first, I must give them something to follow. A society, a solidity, an order, a cult. We need knowledge to progress this. Oh, talking's going really quickly. Found a new uh, mystical organization. I've begun my true work. The authorities will take an interest in it. I must be ready for them. You have begun to establish your cult. You'll need a little more before you can recruit followers. Notoriety. Certain acts are not quickly forgotten. Notoriety may allow hunters to build a case against you. Talk? Speak of esoteric matters. Talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. Perhaps. Choose founding principles. Tradition and compulsion. Old, new, or both together. Add lore and determine your cult's founding principles. Um, shoot. That probably was the, my founder principle. I guess I have no principles. What do we seek? Nothingness? Oh. My life is slipping away. No health is left. Tonight I will dream of... Uh-oh. Um, oh. read whatever is at hand. The words contain knowledge. Now I contain it. It is a little like theft, and a little like feasting, and a little like the progress of an infectious disease. We have reason and erudition. I soak up knowledge as a shadow soaks up light. It may be close to advancement. Erudition can be used with study to gain reason. Only the last three minutes if unused. To library. I found something noteworthy. On the white. Solomon Husher writes, perhaps allegorically, of winter. 
and its long, slow, doomed romance with the sun. The epigraph is Sunset at Noon. So, fall under... Huh. Study on the white. A closer investigation of the work seems but a theory of aesthetics, or perhaps a set of warnings about the dangers of painting. Oh, we're gonna perish at this rate. There we go. I dreamt of nothing at all. I woke and stretched and rose without haste. Those quiet hours have left me energized. Exercise, or something rare, has invigorated me. Use with another vitality to improve your abilities, and last for three minutes if unused. Still have no doctrine. Just kind of floating in the... Dream of... I thought that's glittered. The things around it glittered, my bad. Um. Find clerical work. Find work which will spare my body, if not my mind. Kindness lingers. Mystique may attract the attention of hunters. They can't use it to build a case against you, but it will encourage them to look harder. Yeah, there's nothing I want to dream of at the moment. Glover and Glover have offered me a junior position. I start at 8 sharp tomorrow morning. Junior position at Glover and Glover. My intellect should be put up to better use, but the pay is better than labor's work. If you don't attend this job regularly, you might suffer demotion. Let's do our work. Junior work at Glover and Glover. Scratching of pens, the sourness of dust, the sighing of the younger Glover, the greedy gurgling of the elder. Uh, diligence through reason? Extra effort at Glover and Glover. Of my extra effort, perhaps they'll appreciate it. Oop. Well, that went away. for an expedition. I could send an expedition here to find books, treasures, tools of power, but I'll need followers to send and funds to supply them. Never mind. Dream of passion? The moonlit road. I know this dream. A road crests at a hilltop in the air silver light. Silver bright. I have no lore to speak of, so... If I engage in an occult practice before I sleep, I might find a way. An acquaintance? I found someone who may be a kindred spirit, but I'll need to win them over. Winning an acquaintance requires your passion. Shoot. My passion's uh, locked in a dream, so... Here goes my health. Bleak thoughts. 
dark days. I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. Dread might provoke full fledged despair. This is empty, which. Uh, slot shadows. I have no shadows to chase them away, so that's a problem. Uh, funds are still there. This has ravaged my body. An affliction. Disease has left me weak. I need rest and nourishment if I am to recover. Dream on an affliction to transform it back to health before the card decays. Okay. Study on the white. Husher writes distractedly of his hatred of colors and his yearning for death. He hints of a great work for his envisage, or begun, where the palest paintings, palest of paintings, will enthrall the world. He returns again and again to certain compelling phrases which he claims are the secret words of winter. Sexton's secret. Certain knowledge, it is said, can be expressed only through the particular quality of a silence. It has been suggested that one can only read such knowledge with one's eyes closed but only by mischievous commentators. Use this in a rite with a corpse in edge aspect and the corpse will rise. Okay. It's not weird at all. It's not weird. Steady the secret. Prove my knowledge of invisible arts. I have two lore fragments of the same level and aspect, etc., etc. Hmm. Oh, that is study. Explore two places I don't want to explore. Okay, that does count as lore. So I might be able to push my, uh... Whatchamacallit? This. The dedication of enlightenment. Promotion. Mr. Eden, the supervisor of records, has called me into his office to recognize my diligence. I watch the mole on his neck as he talks. And talks. But at the end of it, I have a promotion. My new position is better paid and the desk stands by the street window. But I work directly for Mr. Eden now. Mr. Eden is known to be exacting. So I got funds. My reason is dimmed. But I have my position at Clever and Clever. But let us practice the invisible arts, shall we? We'll work on this. I say we'll work on this. Oh, it's not a knowledge. Oh, it's we need that symbol. My dreams I have found the way to the stack door. Sometimes it's called the horn gate or the adept's door. I've answered its riddle and counted among the known. So I need to dream then. Hmm. In that case, I'll continue my regular work. I am better paid than I was, but Mr. Aiden has taken interest in me. Mr. Aiden's very particular. Mr. Aiden likes things done just so. Mr. Aiden has never believed that I am qualified for this position. Well, that's his problem. Well, it's my problem too, but yeah. Doctrines. Oh, oh, oh. Establish the Children of Silence. An ancient society dedicated to silence that comes and the cold that ends. I don't have my passion back yet, because it's locked in my dreams. Can't explore at the moment, except for places I've already been. I have no shadows to chase away the dread. My money bleeds away. Okay. I need to rest my affliction away, otherwise I'm gonna get very, very ill very, very quickly. And I will not like what happens when that happens. A 
crowds of sleep, rumpled fields, the wink of a river, a tingling chill. A terrible clarity. Our purpose demands we recognize truths that chill the spirit. I must give of myself. I must give myself to honor the power we serve. Fortune, my reason is dimmed. So, I can't offer something I don't have. An acquaintance? I could not muster the passion to bring them into my circle. Perhaps another time. Recruiter new follower? Once you've established a cult, use talk with the cult to recruit an acquaintance for your cult's ranks. Oh, okay. Speak of esoteric matters openly again. I don't mind locking that away for now. Just to have it ready to go if I need it. Uh oh. The clouds part. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. Fleeting reminiscence. A moment in time, and another moment it will be gone. This has secret histories, the aspect of the moth, the influence. Okay. Oh. Nightmare, the cleansing dawn. Now I can slough off my flesh patch by patch, tugging the tendons free, like fibers pricked from teeth. My skin lies like shredded blanket. The sun heaves itself above the horizon with a triumphant battle yell. The light falls like acid on my naked bones. Pain will wake me. My bones will ache for days. But the sun's words are etched on my bones. Okay. An intensity of radiance. Light dews the skin and suffuses the air. A sixth order influence. Significant resonances or correspondences. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. If unused, it will become a fascination. Fascination. Light leaks to the cracks. My mind is brighter than it ever was. The higher I rise, the more I see. Hokey. Cool. Dream this affliction away. Recover? Resting will restore me if I have the necessary resources. Medicines or vitality. All I need now is time. There we go. My reason is still without me. Great influences? No. Turn finds up the study. Explore.
definitely goes here, but the problem is I can't really do anything with it. It's just kind of there. Another book, perhaps. A bit of funds. And nothing to study, really. Purpose demands we recognize that the chill is the spirit. I must give of myself. Work overtime at Aiden's insistence. I do not believe that you have properly understood the importance of our work here. This task will require your full attention. Add reason to satisfy Mr. Aiden. funds to continue, right? So Found the Orchid Transfigurations Volume 1. A 16th century alchemical fever dream attributed to Robert Flood, frequently banned for the distributing uh, disturbing allure of its illustrations. This is in the original Latin. Take a wild guess, this is a study. My Latin skills are too limited to read this. I might be able to find a textbook or hire a tutor. Um. Fervent and convincing. Oh, it'll, it's going to pull the card toward it, so I don't need to do anything. Okay. On this occasion, I have determined that your work is of an acceptable standard. You may go. Be punctual tomorrow, please. There may be ways to deal, Mr. Aiden. Because this work can't be done yet. Because I like the no. I do have power. I've been able to gather power, but I haven't been able to create anything else. Okay, so work it clever and clever. No. The wrong kind of attention. The city is rife with journalists and detectives and other meddlers. How long will they leave me in my presence? Adversary? Sikram grows close and stale. Time to get up. The doors of a vision swing wide. A little darkness will mellow my light. Even dread has its uses. Composure. Yeah. Let's chill out a bit. Explore health? Search the city. Crowded thoroughfares by day, a fog wrapped lamp earth by night. I'll walk the streets seeking secrets until I can walk no more. Oop, that's gone. Uh oh. Am I miss someone is meddling. Rod. That seems very bad for me. Oops, got a message. Let's check that. Ooh, new release. A 
common email. New releases from people I watch. An overlooked place. I found somewhere somewhere useful. I'm fatigued, that's fine. I found Street Strange by Moonlight. Sometimes the light of the moon is a key to other places. I found a space a pace. A place where for a night or two the streets curve in unfamiliar ways. If I walk here, I might find insight. Or I might be touched by madness. Well heck, why not? Sounds like fun. It's for an uncanny tangle of streets by the light of the moon. The streets are strange in the hour called Menescape. Conscience of Radiance. Not a whole lot I can do with it. I can't go anywhere with it. About just the useful moment. Pardon me. Nothing good happened. There's always someone who doesn't understand, or understands too well. This troublemaker may seek evidence on my activities to share with the authorities. Weary Detective. The gentleman would much rather be left alone with his pipe and be illustrated London news, but no. Apparently, some conjurer of abominations has to be hunted down like a mad dog, and apparently no one else can find the time. The long habit of living indisposes us, dying, us to dying, rather. Well, he's an issue. An issue I cannot deal with just yet, but one step at a time. A light in the skull. Whenever the principle of the lantern sheds its light, I may recall additional scraps of knowledge. Huh. Right? Acquaintance, come with me. Watchman's secret, mystique, and Leo, an acquaintance. Leo is an earnest sort with an interest in the occult. He hangs on your hints about the invisible arts. You might be able to recruit this acquaintance as a follower. Arrange a meeting with an adversary. Perhaps we could parlay, or perhaps I could send something to ambush them. Many fear, so I could try to spook with my reputation. It'll fade long before, yeah. What it heart it hardens in. Not sure if that would help. Um, influence. Ooh, I might be able to influence him with that. Yeah. My reason is not recovered yet. Explore an uncanny tangle. Visions pass me with paving grace. A window over a wood. A garden of ice. A shivering sun. A woman of glass. I will return home with reluctance. I'm now shimmering. Glimmering, sorry. Let us once again wander. The reason is recovered. Thus shall it be sacrificed. Work at Glover and Glover. Mr. Aiden has found nothing to criticize in my work today. He does not look up as I leave. Let's 
retreats our passion for a bit. We have no yearnings, sadly. Oops. Adversary? Oh, thankfully we're talking to a current adversary, so worst yet, we'll just create a new one. Composure. The air is curdled now. I am home again in this lump in flesh. Better, perhaps. Dream of health? Nap to recover from fatigue. I mean, I could. Yeah. Sure. Oh, notoriety is uh, pulling some attention to me. My first recruit. Oh. Cult with one member is an only an unusual habit. I must have a recruit. Cult of one, as in me, because I'm the only member of my cult right now. I love how the police is giving me a hard time. It's like, I haven't done anything yet. What have I done? Nothing. I work at Glover and Glover, and I worked at a hospital briefly. Light in my skull. Dusty facts have now come clear in my mind. For now, at least. Now I have a fascination. dream should produce some fruit. I'm refreshed. Let us dream on our fascination. Reminders. Gray reality will steady the mind. Ah. Whoops. Aimed in like that. Well, a balancing act this game. And certain level of guesswork stumbling about. It's funny when my computer does things like this, when it hangs like this on a program. The like other things are working. You can hear me, you can see me, so other programs are working. The mic's working, uh, drivers and such. Just this program. But I think that's more to do with my computer being weird than anything. Or it's spooky stuff. Ooh, I couldn't think of anything. Couldn't think of anything. That does give me time to think. Um, everything's kind of rolling this way and that way. Nothing's like. Whoop! There we go. Actually, I have a plan. Hold up. Stable, hopefully. There we go. We 
get an early night. Get some rest. Study the fascination? We have not those work either. Latin. Glimmering needs glimmering again. So, nothing. Oop, something produced from my adversaries. Nothing. Oh, there she is. Connie Lee, the heiress, suffragist and adventurer. She recently put her quixotic enthusiasm and considerable wealth at the service of the Suppression Bureau. She's tenacious. Mortal. Hunter. The laws of civilization are younger than the laws of the hours. But they, too, sometimes require a sacrifice. This one is an agent of the law. And a mystic. Our rise begins. I have founded my cult. This is a step to greater power. Use your cult to recruit and promote followers. Talk with followers about your cult to send them out on cult business. Our reason is dimmed. We have the Sexton's Secret. We have a temporary headquarters. Our business is private. We could use somewhere more secret. And Children of Silence. An occult society dedicated to the silence that comes and the cold that ends. You can use cults with the talk verb to recruit or promote followers to send them out on errands to gather resources. A believer can be promoted to disciple. Two gifted disciples can be exalted even higher to a condition of lethal silence. Arrange a meeting with an adversary. This was rash. Perhaps I shouldn't have exposed myself, so... Send an unsuitable to murder a hunter. My minion lacks the edge aspect and is woefully unsuited to attack the hunter. There's a small chance he might succeed. Failure will kill your minion. Topic of conversation, or a minion that will destroy them. Just try to be glimmering in their presence. Nothing to yearn for. And, ooh, we found more glimmering. Ooh. No, we don't want to talk about glimmering because we want to advance our glimmering. Glimmering, 
glimmering again. Feed my imagination. The tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction. If I spend time studying what I've learned, I can increase my passion and gain a skill. Search the city. Crowded through fairs by day, a fog wrapped labyrinth by night. I'll set my minions to searching for opportunities. The motion to a junior position. My absence from the office has been noted. I've been demoted and I'll need to argue persu persuasively to keep my job. Exotic cravings? What drives us? Let's oh, sneeze again. Pardon me. Oof. Let's talk about her. Meanwhile, my painting has got some glimmering. Let's try not to lose our job. Need to keep my job. Use passion, unfortunately, which I don't have. Done. Payment. A hireling? I found someone who I might pay to enact regrettable necessities. Add funds to hire them for a limited time. Watchman's light. Even in waking hours, I've begun to seek new colors. Uh oh. The Watchman's light. My curiosity is becoming a physical need. My eyes will be thresholds. It is almost time to perform the work and begin the changes. I must have enough lantern aspect. Exploration might find more. Restlessness. A restlessness long has me. I feel what I want to do. Something. What exactly? I need my passion and I need to use the. Okay. For now, we can't do any work. Sometimes I dreamt of a tall woman in a sand-colored coat who stands at the foot of my bed, smiling as she watches me sleep. In that dream, she turns her head with the swiftness of a bird, and her fingers flex like talons. I do not think I dreamt of her last night. If I had, I could not have so slept so soundly. Get rid of that fascination. The reminder, something simple. Uh, my passion is still exhausted, sadly. All my reason has returned to me. A follower. Oh, I have to use a cult icon. Um, cult. Associate. New recruit to hardened disciples. This guy. 
I'll need a little of the power we revere. I might glean it from an influence or a tool or an ingredient or just the lore of our tradition. Recruit an acquaintance by invoking winter. The trappings of... Erudition. Feed my imagination. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Gain passion, but it'll be more difficult to gain passion next time. Skill, a vivid imagination. My daydreams sometimes outpace my dreams. Use this with work to paint or with study. With two lessons learned to gain more passion. Never get the passion, okay. You never know, this might be a living. Add passion to make a distinctive paintings. Add mystique and especially notoriety to attract attention and make more money. Be careful, if you use notoriety, exhibiting paintings will keep you in the public eye. Sorry, the wrong mystique. Mystique. Inspired by... Fascination. Mood piece. That should have impact. Or esoteric art. Those who know will understand. As will the suspicion the suppression bureau. The sun flickers like a shadow. Dreams ripple beneath behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from the waking world. Fascination may provoke visions. Uh, let's see, a hireling. They will swill by their loyalty for now. A fortune teller. I see things. I see that you're different. This hireling may be useful for some expeditions and can help with hunters and annoyances. Explorer. This strange place. Right, I'm trying to recruit that guy. Let us study something. If I proposed to learn anything, I would be reading this stuff. Read some sentimental literature. Colors of night. I could spend money on better paint, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. More money. Exotic pigments. Blood? Or other such strangeities? Uh-oh. Horse of the heart. Whatever the principles of the heart is implicated, I may gain vitality. Ooh. Kutin invoke. Acquaintance by invoking winter. I'll speak only in exactly nine words. A novice will speak none at all. Sock this weary detective. Am 
We had a fortune teller that might deal with him, yes? There she is. There's a small chance it'll work, but eh, it's a hireling. What do I care? The answer is I don't. Contentment. Visions pass me with having grace, etc. I'm happy, I think. Contentment can defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. Actually, I wonder, if I have an expedition coming down my way... Believer. Another believer. Funds. Further funds. Mr. Shaker, forbidden entry to his library. Library. Unfortunate. Let's see what we can do. Expeditions need at least one funds per obstacle. Followers will defeat obstacles. If you fund our funds of followers, the expedition ends. Hmm? Oops, sorry, I didn't set it into motion. My bad. Go on. with him, I suppose. Composure. Hey, I've pushed away the fascinations. The moonlit road. I know this dream. The road crests the hilltop and the air is silver bright. Blenched way. I could sleep in a room without colors. Bleach the sheets, whitewash the walls, dye my hair, and paint my skin. Yeah, that isn't weird at all. That's weird at all. My recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. So it's a mystique. Or mystique. Glimmering, contentment, some funds, and even more funds. Ooh, it turned out. Layer mystique in our painting. Inspired by portrait, something to remember them by, perhaps. There we go. Into vitality. Tristan interludes. If I have a particular friend, now is the time to renew our connection. Who? How about you? No. Let's 
solitude. I am alone, but there's peace in that too. Eats. The expedition continues. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It will consume funds. I can add funds now or I can send another follower. Messages coming my way. Um, let's try to get that off the ground. The painting should do well. I passed the time. I've been inclined to tears and afterwards inclined to laughter. Meanwhile, the world continues. Steady contentment? Through my knowledge of the invisible arts? Glimmering with glimmering. I'm seeing things. Paintings whisper, windows swink. I know these things are not true, but how can I be certain? You can defeat visions with dread or a fleeting memory. Otherwise, you will lose yourself completely at Fascination 3. Unfortunately, I have no real way to combat that, so I am at a loss. Place a follower in here to convert them permanently into a prisoner. speak with them passionately and hope to convert them away from bugging me? I don't know. Against the Watchers, a desperate deception. They went that way? I have no further assistance to give you. Recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. Unskilled labor? No. Bleached Way. 
Color exists only where there is light, and the wood is the place where light does not walk. In the dream, I close my eyes and walk, stumbling, bruising my feet and knees. At last, the undergrowth before me grows too thick to pass, and when I open my eyes, I am adrift among black trees. Shadows flutter. My feet will know the way back to this place. Buzzing in the brain. In Gulum Emnis Noctic et Con Isum. Snip, snip, snip. Second order influence, apparent to the perceptive, instantly recognizable to an adept. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. Some minions will leave it lingering without, while they are destroyed. And weigh the wood. I've learned the path to the wood, the tangled darkness that grows around the walls of the Manasus. Though the Manasus has no walls, I could dream with this to return to the wood. The way to the wood. If I have enough passion, I can walk through the dream road to the wood. If I have the right knowledge, I might be able to find a way beyond it. Light in the wood, not enough. There's a house in the wood, this much I know. Here is a light through the trees. Uh, you guys need more assistance? Here you go. Can I just bribe you to go away? Wait. Yeah, it's an sir. The Watcher's victory. They are more cunning and more numerous than we'd expected. This will be the end. This will end in blood for us. Uh oh. Mortals, perhaps even ordinary mortals, but quite a number of them. They can be fought, seduced, or, sed or deceived. That's unfortunate. Feed my imagination. Glimmering, a lesson learned. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Use this lesson learned with your imagination skill. I'm ready to improve. Use this with your imagination skill to improve the skill and gain passion. It lasts up to five minutes before it decays back to glimmering. study that would help me right now. I'm gonna paint of some kind, but I don't have it. Yeah, I'd rather fund this. Passion. Hope for the best. Train and prison a follower. This one must serve another purpose now. Into the cupboard they go. No. Promote a believer. To promote a believer to disciple, I'll need to provide an appropriate aspect for the cult to at least the seventh intensity. Trappings of... There we go. Wait, what? Oh, shoot.
Let's speak of esoteric matters. Hope for the best. Someone won't meet with me in person again. Researcher's drawn some attention. Something should sell. and Steak Inspired by Burning in the Brain Gain a lot of notoriety though <laughs> The expedition continues our expedition plans for the next challenge will consume funds. Could I have fallen into now or could send another follower? Passion increased. Wins, which I do have. Heads above water. Against the watchers, the grail's distractions. Perhaps we can sway the watchers for their purpose. Oh. Something tells me that's not happening. Dreams of doors. I dreamt of opening doors. Red doors and gold doors and doors of glass and doors bound like books. And railway carriage doors and castle gates. Behind one was the something I seek. I awoke with the slamming of doors still in my ears. Back to the way. Have passion? Let's actually keep going this way. Not enough. Not enough light. More light. Come on, give me money so I can throw it at the expedition. Plead to keep my job. With my passion. Gets you more money, so. There we go. Man, the expedition's taking a lot out of me. Acquaintance. Find someone who might want to join, but I need passion to help, so. So much for that. This will probably recover before that one needs it, so... Okay. I wanna check. I've been offered another chance. I'm apparently expected to be grateful. Right back into it. Certain level of diligence. Uh oh. Exotic craving, you say? That's no good. That's no good at all. 
No good. There right. was my restlessness. The expedition continues. Nothing I can do about that. Uh oh. Even in the watching hours. Oh no. Oh, I'm just restless again. That's not terrible. Whew, that was near thing. Come with me. And you'll see. Slee, an acquaintance. Craig Slee, the astronomer and avant garde poet, has developed an interest in the esoteric as his health wanes. So let us. Bring him into the fold. Trappings of restlessness. Hersault's Nightmare. I remember that Hersault wrote of this. I've levered up floorboards and wrinkled down snugly. Now I am compressed beneath them like a hidden corpse. The air stinks of hot dust. My mouth is full of splinters. This time, I haven't learned what I hope to learn. Whatever that was. I've seen too much. A nameless gnawing fear has its teeth in my hopes. An existential horror. Clear my mind? I remember that I was different, but I can't yet remember how. Vivid imagination. Hmm. Let's throw into it. Entering the wood. Now I pass between scarbark trees. The moon passes behind branches. Through her fingers remain in my hair. I am stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. All oh, the expedition's taking so much. Oh, like two dread? Seen too much. A nameless gnawing fear has its teeth in my hopes. Promotion! Hooray! talk of, really. Oh, I suppose I can try to recruit someone again. Wait, it's not recruit. Um, the world as it is. Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I am sane, if that means anything. No fascination drives your visions. It's over for now. Okay, so that isn't ticking away at me. Study dread? Upgrade with influence. It might be possible with the right combination of influences to raise more power. Yeah, I know. 
Can't be done. Here's a passion. No. Eh? Lesson learned. I'll need more lessons learned. Anything else I can study? I only have one glimmer. I have two couple glimmerings. I can make I can learn another lesson. My job should get me enough money to tide me over for a while. Damn it. Damn watchers tying down my men. Tying them down, I say. Achievement unlocked. In the midst of my life... The wood. Buzzing in the brain. Well, temple to the wheel. Oh, I'm not sure what just happens. I think I'm traveling in among the dreams. I thought I died, so I was like, uh oh. It's like, no, I'm not dead, I'm just doing something very strange. And not altogether seemly, one assumes. Whoa. Weird. The well in the wood is sacred to the grail, the hour that hungers, and to the velvet, the hour that guards secrets. Tonight as I approach, it heed with the velvet's moss, struggling waves of deep and vibrant green, pulsing again and again from its throat. It surged around my calves, rose to my thighs, and this morning I still felt the velvet's breath strong with me. Try to get that dread to go away, because I feel like that's gonna... I need to be content to get rid of dread. Fudge. Led us to something interesting last time, so let's enter the wood with passion once again. So I guess I had a choice between one of three things. There's one thing I knew, and then two unknown things. Something's happening. Ooh, stop, stop. An expedition. An expedition, what? Member has fallen. Uh oh. Expedition member has fallen. The wounds are grievous. Heal a fallen member with talk. We'll do that when I get the chance. Chew next to this one. There we go. Some reasons back. Cool. Work over time. At his insistence. He wants my attention, does he? Well, he has it. Wrong 
wrong kind of attention. Searching for clues. An adversary is searching questions about my activities. Yeah, that cop's looking into me now. Lesson learned, eh? Don't I have two of these? So... Feed my imagination. Fiercer. He who desires but acts not breeds pestilence. The way to the wood. Can't use passion because that's being used in my talk. We'll dream with the light of our path. I don't know how much I'm in danger of that cop. Oof. Work overtime at his insistence. He was happy with that. They have some funds, not a lot. Once again, we enter the wood through passion. We're going to see the screen burn away, in my assumption. Every time. Subtle flaw. Last night I came in the wood to the high jagged rock called the Temple of the Wheel. Its flank, patched with black lichen and eye signs, opened like a mouth beneath my hands, and I walked in the whispering space within. The gods who were stone, the first of the hours, are almost all gone now. But here their voices remain, Wheel, Flint, Tide, and the others without names. Okay. That's what that means. So strange. Laces uncoil, windows swing open, locks move as if oiled. A second order influence, parent to the perceptive, instantly organized with an adept, could be used in right to summon minions. into the wood, I suppose. Using the path of the light in the woods. Yeah, I know, I can't put that there. Considering the evidence. The hunter has found an variety. They will try to use it to create or upgrade evidence. If they're meticulous, they'll always succeed. If they're erratic, they're more likely to fail. But they can occasionally create evidence even without notoriety. So he might invent something. I'm notorious for reasons, but he's gonna try to find something that gets the stick, which he doesn't have any special abilities. He's just a weary detective. He might just straight up give up on me, not care enough to chase me down. One hopes. Whoa. Strange appetite. That should actually go away, because I just hit zero. Come with me, and you'll see. A Clovet who is my acquaintance. She's happy in a way 
That broke's no counter argument to happiness. I can't get it. Let's help out our wounded believer. Healing through. Funds will buy medicine. Look, I'll just give him an attaboy and he'll get better, okay? Another expedition member has fallen. Much to my annoyance. Whoa, what? Moth. That's new. Something burned away. So many things. Considering the evidence. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere. With their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contract in the press. This is troubling. Tentative evidence. A hunter has found evidence, real or imagined, of my sins. Hunters with evidence of occult activities become more dangerous. Evidence may survive the death of the hunter who created it. Some forms of proof are stronger than others. Okay. Old, unhappy, far-off things. Moth finds the light in the dark, and so do I. I didn't have a computer CD, I have quite a bit. Feed my imagination, fiercer. My desires grow in number. It may be that they will always outpace my actions. Wild imagination. Been known to break six pencils in a day. As well, I suppose. Random. Mr. Aiden wants me to work overtime. Sure, I'll throw my passion into it. Study dread with nothing. Steady restlessness? To steady one must generally sit quite still. Restlessness is rarely the ally of scholarship. Says you. Um, steady vitality? More vitality. Steady health? Long walks kill cobwebs. Sure. Moth gave me something. Old, unhappy, far off things. Half glimpse wistfulness has touched me. Those watchers are being quite annoying. Dreams of rain. Rain is coming, but the right kind of rain. Uh, I'd like to say I'm disappointed, but my expectations of you were already low. I have no choice but to withhold a portion of your pay. You may go, but be punctual tomorrow, please.
another suspicious one. I dreamt of the rain, whispering in the eaves, tapping on windows like an old friend, hissing prankishly in the chimney. It is difficult to be unhappy in the right kind of rain. True. Ooh, contentment. There's a house in the wood, this much I know. Here is a light through the trees. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Could not or would not provide medical assistance. Who can I talk to that would be of help? I could speak about this. Now. I don't know who can fit in the cupboard. of the lantern to the trappings of restlessness. No? Ah, oh. oh, right. We don't revere the lantern in this cult. So instead... Mystique is being used against me. Fresh air and exercise. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. Ooh, let's get more. Yeah, if we get another one of those, we get vital. We can pair up two vitality and get some extra health. Could have another member. Discuss the cult business with a follower. Significant conversations in a smoky meeting room. What do I need for my follower? Add your your cult to send them out in cult business. Send them after enemies or raise another matter. Cold business, charm. Not everyone is sympathetic to our aims, but if you have problems with our reputation, our believer might be able to smooth them over. Treasures lie before us. The presence puzzles will end ill for them. Perhaps they'll think it's worth it. Meanwhile, we can pass. Eh, I mean to drag myself up like that. Time at his insistence. Add a reason. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> it's 
Smithian's cozy sanctum, a fire smolders in the grate. Glass cases display hard-won trinkets. We must seize what we can quickly. Jacob, may I already telephone the police? Okay, so essentially, for like days on end, I imagine, I've had my followers bashing up the place, fighting watchers, money being thrown at it, and just constantly coming at this guy till we get what we want. So, you know, we're good people, is what I'm saying. Should be able to get money before time runs out. Watchman's light. I've become a bit restless. Restlessness has uh, served me well. I've been able to put it to good use in other ways. My dreams. Dreams of curios behind glass. In the display glass case of the Apostle Museum, I always see an apple white as snow and hard as marble. A golden beetle in a stern box. Coy geometry awaiting my touch. Black envelope bursting with spring. A brass opera box for instruments of record and measure. Storm in a tin. I always wait before I see the aisle at the end. I have contentment. Once again, determine your work is of acceptable standard. You may go. Be punctual tomorrow. Fresh air and exercise. So, study my vitality. Vitality again. I will brim with vitality. If I devote some time to exercise, I'll benefit. Let us benefit. At least now we have funds, but it's basically a catch-up game, really. Something just happened with talk, I'm not sure what yet. Earnest speeches, affable, affable conversation. The standards of daylight society cannot apply to us. But perhaps we won't emphasize that point. I don't really get this game. <laughs> Hello, Buggy Jim. Um, my understanding of this game is that we are managing our time. Uh, as I, I pause the game frequently, but um, everything takes time. So um, the one thing I have to keep an eye on is the passage of time. Uh, I have to pay money. Uh, presumably for food, lodgings, rent, so on. And if I don't do that, I'll get sick. And if I get more sick, I might perish. Um, one thing I have to worry about is the perils of renown. The downside is that there are people out there, hunters, who are seeking out occultists like me. Because as occultists, I'm seeking out strange mysteries that endanger the society, is my understanding. Um, these hunters are trying to stop me before I get to anything worthwhile or anything dangerous. Um, for whatever their reasons. Uh, up here, I just sent off a bunch of my cultists uh, to assault some poor guy's store. Um, and that took a long time and a lot of money, but I pulled it off. Uh, so I got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, to progress and make myself better, I can work various jobs. Uh, the two jobs I could do is paint and... Um, Work at Glover and Glover, some sort of cleric job. Um, dreams seem to be the way I'm able to get weird esoteric knowledge at the risk of going crazy or uh, um, other calamities. And talking is talking to various people, whether it's convincing a hunter to back off, tricking him into an ambush, or getting my followers to do stuff. That's my understanding. And all these cards are the resources that I have available to me. Or uh, things against me, like this tentative evidence. Um, like, or the weary, like, the venture and so on. 
So like I was able to generate passion because I've been constantly working at it through study and generating it more and more and more. Um, and the game autosaves quite frequently. So that's my understanding of it. For what little I can give off. Out into the night. We escape unseen. But the next day there are reports of a fire at Strikecoats. Did someone knock alive coal on the hearth rug? Or did Strikecoats destroy the place himself as part of some larger scheme? Um, and also this sort of format tends to give me this sense of this sort of scattered attention to everything. Like this sort of hurried mind that's racing from one thing to the next. So we found... The Winged Caught Histories, subtitled Stories from Behind the Walls, a miscellany of non-traditional histories compiled by William Gore, including battles not generally acknowledged and countries which appear on no map, told in a playful, apparently fictional manner. We also found the Journal of Alessandro Lacro Lacroix. Prince Alessandro Lacroix spent years in secret study of the tablets taken from the Fucan marches in central Italy. His work will allow you to decipher Fucan texts. Uh, my understanding as well is that there's different uh, wing conditions. Um, so the current wing condition, I, I'm not sure how many there are, but one I have gleaned is enlightenment. Trying to find some great secret of the universe that no one else knows and then being ascending. Now what that ascending will lead to for my character, who knows. Locksmith's Dream, Stolen Reflections. The fourth volume of Teresa Gamer's expensive work, no longer a discussion of the dreams of artisans, but a valuable survey of other works. The tone is calmer than that of Trespasses, but occasionally fearful, even paranoid. This volume was published in 1926. La Croze? Maybe it's La Croze. but almost immediately recalled and pulped by the publisher. Whoops, hey, I was reading that. At the request of the author or possibly the authorities, depending which story you believe, few copies survive. Traveling at Night, Volume 3. The annotated dream journals of Christopher Illipi. Illipoli? Sometimes called the only readable occultist. Hmm. Literate, entertaining, bewildering. This is the third volume. and the Tristes on Underplaces. Herein, the 17th century mystic, mystic and antiquarian Claude Hersot describes the bounds or underplaces on the borders of dream. He warns they shift over time. La Croce. Like twice, but crow. La Croce. La Croce. La Croce? La Croce? La Croce? So I burned down some poor guy's shop. And now we can explore somewhere else. Or send our tra our guys out. Orland shop. I don't want to use up my money. Hey Slee, how about you go exploring for me? Search the city. Find me something useful. I've seen similar names, but never that one. I want to say LaCroix. But that, re that requires an X. As in LaCrosse, basically. Like, it, yeah. Ooh, no. Stop looking into me, hunters. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm doing nothing suspicious. A hireling? Nah. I'm interested in using up my funds for a hireling. Uh oh. Trembling in the air. The sun flickers like a shadow. Dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from the waking world. They're Croy, but it could be an alternate spelling. Yeah. I have no shadows. Fascination. That's gonna be an issue for me. And some of these things, like some things sound negative in this game, and they're not really when you think about it. Like restlessness is an issue, but I've been able to use it as a resource, so. Earnest speeches, affable conversation. Affable. No one understands us, or else they understand us too well. Peculiar rumor. 
This might lead someone. This might lead me to someone I need, or it might mean something else entirely. Explore with a rumor to follow up on it. Let us talk to Rhaenyra, and we're going to talk about this rumor. Red building up, not great. Reasons. Work, Glover and Glover. Mr. Aiden has found nothing to criticize my work today. He does not look up as I leave. I have no knowledge. To expand my goals, so let's work with a wild imagination. You never know, this might be a living. I had passion to make distinctive paintings, add mystique, and especially notoriety to attract attention and make more money. But be careful, if you use notoriety, exhibiting paintings will keep you in the public eye. And mystique, passion. Even more passion. We'll be inspired by the dread that follows us. Yeah. Yes. Let's make that dread useful to us. Whoop. Exercise the body. I've grown stronger. Gained health, but it'll be more difficult to gain health next time. Skill. A stronger physique. I've benefited from exercise. Use this with two lessons learned to gain more health. Oh, nice. Whoa, I can study a lot. When I click on things, different things light up to let me know what's uh, available, of course. He said, pointing out the obvious. Let's read the Wayne's Cut histories. I said, let us read the histories. Gore does not mention the Mantis directly. The constant coy metaphorical references to ascending the staircase of years, to the doors of sleep, and to the blow to the blue light of dawn suggests he had commerce with the unseen world. Ah, itchy eyebrow. No, don't use that against me. I need to deal with these hunters, they're becoming an issue. Ursold's Nightmare. Okay. A subtle fracture. Clouds part, walls creak, old wounds ache. A six order influence. I don't have contentment to get rid of my dread, do I? No. opium because that I think has its own issues into the wood we go in our dreams whoa use our passion to see if we can grab something from the dreamland colors of the night I could spend money on better paints, or perhaps I can find more exotic pigments. Better not. I must be careful of the company I keep. Yeah. Go ahead and search the city.
Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I am sane, if that means anything. Though I have a fleeting reminiscence. I'm pretty calm, all things considered. And we found an overlooked place. Oriflam's Auction House. Oriflam specializes in curios, perfumes, taxidermy specimens, and rare texts. It operates from cramped new premises. Now, since the destruction of the old by an unexplained fire, you can buy or sell items at Oriflam's. In that case, we perched in, on alarming revolt chairs in a windowless auction room with vividly burnt orange walls waiting for the auctioneer to announce what he's offering. The reek of new paint makes the brain spin. Hit start to see what's on offer or add an item you'd like to sell. Let's sell a book that has Latin in it. Sell something of minimal value. This oddity is probably worth something, but it's hard to be sure. How will help augment our funds? Discuss a cult business with a follower. Nothing then. So we talked about the rumor, but nothing came of it. So to heal this poor soul, let's try to heal him. We should be able to get money from either our job or from. Uh, oops. Create damning evidence. If this ever reaches trial, I'll be in serious danger. Even if this hunter is disposed of, another may find their notes. I'm going to demote it again. Tower's running out on this. Yep, this painting's taking a long time to do. My work is considered significant. May yet earn a living from this. Just in time to get to work. Let's try to heal this follower. Read Gore's Wayncott Histories. It was common in that time to speak of the division of the sun, by which contemporaries understood the eruption of barbarian forces and of their uncouth gods. Fjord of Truth. A detail smuggled in from an adjacent narrative. Don't speak this where you may be overheard. Exploring with this scrap of knowledge may uncover secret location in the Shires. Ooh. Okay. Study a different book. Mersault's treaties and underplaces. The Wall of Mansus, Hersault begins, are the size of starlight. Many of his directions are equally unhelpful, but common relationships emerge. Maddening books. Yeah, that evidence is going to get me killed. I gotta deal with it. Ooh, every time it spooks me. I don't want to procure the rumor. Let's go to the well. Ah. Another fear of truth? Cool. The velvet is strong at the well in the wood, and the velvet is the hour that keeps secrets but now and then she lets a secret fall like a crumb of a feast last night i found a moss clad rock written all around with the secrets of another history i might give thanks to the velvet but it will be wiser not to draw her attention velvet must be one of the gods of this strange world okay let's continue to dream
Hmm? Meditate in that that truth. Uh oh, I'm a bit sick, but I'll be okay. I have plenty of health to recover from that. Pain's gate. Wound is healed as much as it will ever be. The gate of pain and possibility remains. And into the cupboard you go. I shall imprison him. Maybe he'll be useful to me in a different way. The auction is complete. The auctioneer gavel bangs. My item has sold. Two fun. Actually, I did want to look, explore this truth. Cover sites in the shires that feature in the histories. Odd nooks remain in the quiet countryside here and there, for those who know where to look. Each year, ow. Yeah. Train and prison a follower. I've locked this one away safely. When their screaming and raving subsides, I'll subdue them properly. A little bit of notoriety. Leo doesn't understand what he did wrong. I don't believe we have anything to say to each other. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I know, I know. Shoo shoo. Let's talk. We need seventh intensity, which I don't think we have, sadly. secrets that are particularly powerful so we can't upgrade any of our uh, followers talk with our follower about this damning evidence try to destroy it health. I've grown strong, but I must still devote my health to a day's work. Arms of bronze to work then? Nah. It's steady money. Patriarch's account of a journey through nightmare, interspersed with what might be partial rites. On the 18th ascent is the bud, on the 36th ascent, the blossom. An Igdvine rite. Every door in the manses requires its sacrifice before it will open. The Igdvine rites prescribe the manner of the sacrifice. Nearly every summoning rite requires knock influence. This lore will provide it.
Read this volume of the locksmith's dream. Janus is the gatekeeper, the twin god, the god that wounds, the presager of changes, the sun, the moon. So we identify him with the watchmen, the twins, with the mother, with the forge, the menescate, and the magrad. He cannot be all these, can he? The Flemings knew the church, knew the dry land, knew the Elgobalus. Is he then synthesis? synthesis? Or is he something else? In Galicia, they called him Lanus Lemius. The Obliviates are notorious for their slanders. Stuff from this darn book, okay? Good oh. luck parsing something out of that, friend. Amazingly, we haven't died yet. Though we're getting there. Because that evidence is probably the, our biggest weakness right now. Our biggest now weakness. Indeed. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Pause. So we have a bit of illness. But we can rest that off with a bit of dreaming. Bleak thoughts. Virtually we have dread. So, that's a problem. That dread's gonna progress into something worse, so. This place merits closer investigation. The Gladwin Lake. Beneath the dark slopes of the fells, the mist wreathed surface of the lake awaits. There was a twin altar here before the Romans came. The legend of a serpent who went to defile that altar. Well, let's explore it. We can send an expedition here to find books, treasures, tools of power. I'll need followers to send and funds to supply them. No. We'll send out our believer to search the city a bit more. I'm gonna wait till we banked a little bit more money before I start sending off another expedition because expeditions take a long time to. to... Dreamt of rain. Oh, we got some contentment. Good. So we have another dread, don't we? Or is it just the one? I think it's just the one. Oh, okay, that's not too bad then. Okay, so we're okay. Um. Let's look into the way of the wood. Oh, shoot, I should have gotten rid of my affliction. Damn it. We'll use a furtive truth to get us there. So we remember to do that for next time. Course of the heart. Oh, I'm making vitality. Good, good. Over time at his insistence. Tampering with records. Ooh, I might have gotten away with it. My minion has returned, stumbling, mumbling, clumsily bandaged. They were caught in the coils of their own plan. Off, darn you. Another overlooked place. The Icadius Club? A cabaret with an occult reputation. Entry. Oh, it's pay to enter. Okay. Now well, we have some money. Visit the Icadius Club. The entrance is lost beneath soft drapes of crimson, cinnabar, and incardine. Above the door, the club motto. In rum imus noc, ki et consumimur igni. Um, sorry, my brain trying to figure piece together any sort of Latin, unless it's just nonsense Latin. Igni makes me think fire. 
I don't know. It has been rendered as into night circle we fly until the fire enjoys us. Oh. Nightly pleasures at the cabaret club. The drinks, the songs, the light. The arching walls, the smoke blue haze. The press and sway of clothed and unclothed flesh. Oh, that sounds like a fun time. Studies revealed something. Janice has, they say, not one face but two. To which I reply, why only one? Why only two? Herself and Cosley, according to Thomas Love Demon, once agreed that Janice was all the gods and none. But later Herself insisted he was all the gods, and Cosley favored simply none. Denman was a sinister dilettante, but this rings true of them both. So now I'm fascinated. That's not great. I have Igadeus's parable. The Igadeus' riddle is what may be lost. Each Igadeus parable is an attempt to answer the riddle. And an unmerciful mantra, mercy, saith the watchman, is found only in shadow. Hmm. That actually got me something. But we'll read Traveling at Night just because we haven't read it yet. Ilipi's distinctions on fire and unburned god are interrupted by passages of distractingly erotic poetry addressed to Baldomora. Purchase pleasure, our real home in the ungodly hours, and collapse into bed. If you only open certain nights of the week, it'll reopen again soon. Okay. And I have another contentment. Nice. Let's have our believer explore again. Might find something useful. Play with our notoriety and our mystique. Inspired by our fascinations. Oops. wrote to romance, sadly. Hireling? Uh, I'm sure. We might get lucky and get someone useful. Oh, well, we're content at least. I'm going to use my prisoner. <laughs> Fine, I'll just buy it normally. Okay. 
to reach the stag door, I believe that all you really need to want... All you really need is to want something enough. I've never wanted anything that much, except of course, Baldemora. I'm very much afraid that the knot in the story is this. What Baldemora wants is the stag door. But here's something I learned in Persia. Perhaps it'll teach you what you want. Okay. A smith's secret. In five continents, smiths have whispered the same words to the iron. Murderers have been known to whisper these words too. It add ups, of course. These words are spoken in ritual to inspire unmerciful change. And we're now a bit smarter than we were before. Whoa! Dragged around part of the screen. Um. Subvert the lore of the wood. The glory is a question, and the moth always answers. Yes. This will create the lantern lore instead of the moth. What if I wanted the other way around? One of you has to figure this out. Get rid of that evidence. Oh, he's hurt. Dang it. Fine. Be healed then. Nightmare, the cleansing dawn. Sixth Order Influence. Dang it. Mm. I believe for now, I'm going to rest. I'm feeling a bit... <laughs> feeling a bit tired, but also a bit... A little overwhelmed. So I'll stop for today. I think. Yes. That's what I'll do. So with that, thank you very much for touring with me here in the Electric Metropolis Video Game Tour. And will we come back to Cultist Simulator? I don't know. Um, it's definitely the sort of game you can zone out to and slowly watch as things tick by, but... I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what is the plan? The plan is tomorrow I'm going to be streaming again. Uh, might be this again. Might be something else. Don't know yet. But we'll find out tomorrow together. And thanks especially to Boggy Jam for jumping in and saying hello. Much appreciated. And I hope to see everyone again next time. <laughs>